Okay, so in this um, scenario, we've got, we are supposed to work out the GST liabilities for the following. A steel manufacturer sells steel for $550 to a fence maker. The fence manufacturer makes a fence and sells it to a hardware shop for $1,375. Who sells it to the customer for $2,090? So the question is, where does the GST get paid? So first up, it's initially sold to the fence maker for $550. So to work out the GST there, we do 550 divided by 11, which equals $55. So that's what the fence maker pays as GST. I'll just put that there. Okay, now he then sells, or she, sells the fence for $1,375 to the hardware shop. So the hardware shop will divide that by 11. Just grab my trusty calculator here. 13.75 divided by 11, 125. So $125 GST that the hardware shop pays. And then the final price is $2,090. Divide that by 11. 2090 divided by 11 equals $190. $190 that GST that customer pays. That's not to say that the tax office gets $55 plus $125 plus $190. What actually happens is the customer pays the $190. The hardware shop had paid $125 in GST but they claim that back on their tax as a tax credit. And the fence manufacturer had paid $55 GST, but they claim that back on their tax as a tax credit as well. So really the whole cost of that tax is borne by the customer.